The adventure of the lost moonstone in a small village called Silverbrook, where the night sky always seemed just a bit brighter, there was a legend about a magical moonstone. The moonstone, it was said, had the power to make the stars shine brighter and bring good dreams to those who touched it. It was kept safe for generations by the village's guardians, but one night, during a terrible storm, the moonstone disappeared. The villagers were worried. Without the moonstone, the stars grew dimmer and restless nights became more common. Everyone searched for it, but no one could find it. But there was one person who believed the moonstone could be found, a young girl named Zara. Zara was known for her love of stargazing and her adventurous spirit. Every night, she would sit on her roof with her telescope, watching the stars twinkle. And every night, she dreamed of being the one to bring the moonstone back. One evening, as Zara sat under the fading stars, she noticed something strange. A single star in the sky was flickering, blinking like a signal. Zara leaned closer to her telescope and gasped. The star wasn't just blinking, it was pointing in a direction, leading her toward the nearby forest known as the Starshade Woods. This has to be a clue, Zara whispered to herself, her heart racing. She grabbed her backpack, her flashlight, and her favorite star map, ready to follow the mysterious star's signal. Into the Starshade Woods, Zara's journey took her to the edge of Starshade Woods, a place known for its towering trees and thick canopy that always seemed to keep the stars hidden. But tonight, something was different. As Zara stepped into the woods, she noticed that the ground sparkled faintly, as if stardust had fallen from the sky. With her flashlight lighting the way, Zara followed the glowing trail deeper into the forest. She walked carefully, listening to the soft rustling of the trees and the distant hoot of an owl. The further she went, the more the stardust sparkled. Suddenly, she came across a stone archway covered in ivy. It was old and weathered, but Zara could feel the magic in the air around it. Carved into the stone were strange symbols she had never seen before. This must be the entrance to something, Zara said, her voice barely a whisper. Just then, a small, shimmering creature appeared from behind the arch. It looked like a tiny fox, but its fur glowed with a soft blue light, and its eyes sparkled like stars. Hello there, the fox said, its voice gentle and soothing. I am Nova, the guide of the Starshade Woods. You're looking for the lost moonstone, aren't you? Zara nodded, amazed by the magical creature. Yes. Do you know where it is? Nova flicked his glowing tail and smiled. The moonstone lies deep within these woods, hidden in a place where the stars meet the earth. But be warned, the path to it is filled with challenges, and only someone with a heart as bright as the stars can find it. I'm ready, Zara said, her determination shining as bright as the flickering star that had led her here. The bridge of stars Nova led Zara through the winding paths of the starshade woods until they came to a wide, flowing river. The water sparkled like silver, but there was no bridge in sight. How do we cross? Zara asked, glancing at Nova. Nova smiled. The river can only be crossed by building a bridge of stars. Look to the sky and find the brightest stars. Only their light will show you the way. Zara gazed up at the night sky, which peeked through the gaps in the trees. She spotted the brightest star, the same one that had led her to the woods, and focused on it. As she did, a beam of starlight shot down from the sky, forming a glowing path over the river. With a deep breath, Zara stepped onto the bridge of starlight, feeling the warmth of the stars beneath her feet. She crossed the river, with Nova following close behind, until they reached the other side. The maze of shadows beyond the river lay the maze of shadows, a place where the light of the stars barely reached. The trees here were tall and twisted, casting long, eerie shadows that seemed to move on their own. You must navigate the maze using your inner light, Nova said. Trust yourself, and the shadows will guide you. Zara took a deep breath and stepped into the maze. As she walked, the shadows shifted and swirled around her, trying to confuse her. But Zara stayed calm, focusing on the faint glow of stardust that still clung to her path. With each step, the shadows parted, allowing her to move forward. After what felt like hours, Zara finally emerged from the maze, her heart still strong. 
the heart of the forest at last, Zara and Nova arrived at the heart of the starshade woods. In the center of a clearing stood a tall, glowing tree, its branches covered in silver leaves that shimmered in the moonlight. Beneath the tree, resting on a bed of moss, was the moonstone. The moonstone was even more beautiful than Zara had imagined. It glowed with a soft, silvery light, and as she approached, she could feel its warmth. This is it, Zara whispered, reaching out to touch the moonstone. But just as her fingers brushed the stone, the ground trembled, and a figure emerged from the shadows, a tall, cloaked guardian with eyes that glowed like stars. Who dares to take the moonstone? The guardian's voice boomed. Zara stood her ground, her heart pounding. I'm Zara, from the village of Silverbrook. I've come to return the moonstone to its rightful place. The guardian studied her for a moment, then smiled. Your heart is true, young one. The moonstone belongs with those who will cherish it. Take it, and may its light guide your village once again. With the guardian's blessing, Zara carefully picked up the moonstone. Its light grew brighter, filling the entire clearing with a soft glow. The return to Silverbrook with Nova by her side, Zara made her way back through the starshade woods, the moonstone lighting their path. When they reached the village, the stars above shone brighter than ever, as if celebrating the return of their lost treasure. The villagers gathered to welcome Zara, their faces filled with joy and gratitude. As she placed the moonstone back in its sacred spot, the night sky lit up with a dazzling display of stars, and the village of Silverbrook was filled with peace once again. From that night on, Zara was known as the hero who brought the stars back to Silverbrook. And every time she looked up at the sky, she remembered her magical adventure in the starshade woods, where the stars and earth had met in a moment of wonder.